Audi CEO just did something that could bring gas cars back and in the reign of EVs forever. Audi has finally managed to make a one-of-a-kind engine that has never been seen before. I'm talking about mileage figures around 100 miles per gallon with nearly 95% less pollution compared to a gas car. Why is Audi going against EVs? When is this engine going to come out? And how is this going to affect you? In this video, I'm going to tell you all about Audi's new synthetic fuel engine and how it will change the industry forever. In a world rapidly shifting towards electric vehicles, the common man is tired of EVs due to three big reasons. First, EVs are not affordable for anyone. Second, EVs right now have low range, giving everyone range anxiety. And thirdly, there have been loads of cases of EVs going up in flames and complaints about people due to their poor part quality. Audi is now going to do something that no one saw coming. They built a new engine that is 10 times better better than EVs. This is a nearly carbon neutral synthetic diesel engine touted to outshine EVs in efficiency and environmental friendliness. Here's how it works. They start with surplus hydropower, which is just a fancy way of saying they use extra electricity from water power plants. This electricity isn't being used for anything else, so why not make fuel out of it? Now they grab some carbon dioxide from the environment and turn it into liquid fuel, all while your car is running. This fuel is what Audi calls e-diesel, and it's nearly carbon neutral. That means it hardly adds any new bad stuff to the atmosphere when it's burned. Now, imagine a factory in Laufenburg, Germany, cranking out about 400,000 liters of this e-diesel every year. That's enough to fill up a mid-sized car over 7,250 times. If each car gets about 100 miles per gallon, we're talking about 8.8 .8 million driving miles on this clean, green fuel. And the best part? Audi's doing this with brands like Porsche and Toyota. Porsche has already tested their own non-EV fuel in a project called Hari Olmi, while Toyota is also testing a hydrogen engine. But can't Audi just go with EVs? Picture this. Folks are trading in their fancy electric rides for good old gas guzzlers, and car lots are turning into graveyards for unsold EVs. It's like a scene from a dystopian movie, but it's happening right now. The whispers in the wind say that over a thousand car makers are begging to ditch EVs, pleading, please, no more. And if you think that's wild, get this. People are dealing with repair bills that are through the roof. Imagine coughing up more than 30 grand just to fix a battery. That's not pocket change. That's a down payment on a house. Now, for the juicy details, big names like Ford, GM, and even Tesla are stuck with EVs they can't sell. Used EV prices? They've nosedived by a staggering 33.7% since last fall. We're talking an average price drop of over $17,000 per car. And Tesla, the darling of the EV world, is seeing some of the biggest hits, with the Model X's value dropping by over 21 grand. But it gets even crazier. There are actually EV graveyards out there with thousands of EVs just gathering dust. And guess what? The prices for the electric rides are expected to have, but it's like there's a gag order on this info. Ford's in a bind, losing $36,000 on each EV they sell. The CEO practically threw in the towel saying, hold up, we gotta figure this out before we go broke. Meanwhile, Toyota's new CEO is starting to question the whole ban gas cars movement, suggesting maybe we all jump the gun on this EV craze. And Tesla, oh boy. Their market value took a nosedive by nearly $80 billion in just a week thanks to some tough competition from China's BYD, which is getting cozy with local subsidies. Elon Musk himself hinted that BYD might just steal the crown. The kicker? A damning report slammed EVs as unreliable death traps with thousands of folks griping about their glitchy rides. Across the pond, Japan's car giants are waving the white flag on EVs, betting big on hybrids and other alternative fuels instead. They're saying, hold up folks, let's not put all our eggs in the EV basket. Even Akio Toyota, the big boss of Toyota, got so vocal about sticking to gas engines that he had to step aside as CEO. Talk about drama.
But here's the real kicker. EVs are turning out to be more trouble than they're worth. Charging them is a headache with stations as rare as hen's teeth. And when you do find one, it's a gamble whether it's working or not. Then there's the fire hazard. Yep, EVs are catching fire with thermal runaway turning them into ticking time bombs. Over 100 folks have died and nearly 500 have lost their stuff to EVs going up in flames. Insurance? Rates are sky high with some owners shelling out as much as $6,000 a year. And repairs? Don't get me started. There's a dude in Ohio who was quoted 50 grand just to swap out his car's batteries. So why is Audi's engine such a big deal? Think about it. Electric cars are great and all, but there are places and situations where they just don't cut it. Heavy trucks, buses, and coaches need something that packs more punch to keep them moving, especially over long distances. And right now, batteries for electric vehicles or EVs are heavy, expensive, and not quite there yet in terms of long haul efficiency. That's where Audi's synthetic diesel shines. It's like giving these big vehicles a green pass to keep on trucking without dirtying up the place. Audi's approach to synthetic diesel offers several advantages over current alternative fuel solutions. Firstly, it requires minimal changes to the existing infrastructure, making it a more feasible and immediate solution to reducing carbon emissions from transportation. Secondly, by utilizing renewable energy sources and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, Audi's e-diesel process aims to achieve nearly carbon neutral status, addressing one of the most pressing concerns in the fight against climate change. Audi's commitment to sustainable fuels doesn't stop at e-diesel. The company has been a pioneer in the research and development of CO2-based fuels, such as e-gas and e-gasoline, exploring ways to make conventional combustion engines operate almost CO2 neutrally. Audi's e-fuel strategy is a comprehensive approach to reducing the carbon footprint of mobility, offering potential reductions in CO2 emissions of up to 80% in models like the G-Tron series. While the push towards electric vehicles is a significant part of the global strategy to reduce automotive emissions, Audi's synthetic diesel project presents a compelling alternative. It challenges the notion that electrification is the only path to sustainable mobility. By offering a solution that leverages existing infrastructure and technology, Audi is opening the door to a more diverse and flexible future for automotive fuel technology. As Audi moves forward with its plans for e-diesel production, the automotive industry and consumers alike are watching closely. The success of this initiative could pave the way for a broader acceptance and adoption of synthetic fuels as a viable alternative to both traditional fossil fuels and electric vehicles. With the potential to make significant strides in reducing the environmental impact of transportation, Audi's synthetic diesel engine project could indeed be the game changer that eats EVs for breakfast. Audi's bold move with its near carbon neutral synthetic diesel engine is more than just an innovation, it's a statement. Now, despite all this chaos, the push for EVs isn't slowing down. It's like we're all aboard a train that's lost its brakes. Government and manufacturers are all in, but it's the folks buying these cars who are left holding the bag. But wait, there's a glimmer of hope. With all the trouble brewing, folks are giving gas cars a second look, and car makers are getting creative, exploring everything from hydrogen power to engines that run on water. Even ammonia engines are in the mix, promising crazy good range with a few kinks still to be ironed out. But here's the bottom line. Relying solely on EVs is like putting all your eggs in one basket and then dropping the basket. With China holding the keys to the EV kingdom, we're all one policy change away from a real pickle. So what's the takeaway? Simple. We shouldn't be forced into one type of car. Options are good, flexibility is king, and in the end, it's about finding the right balance that works for everyone, not just playing follow the leader off a cliff. Do you think Audi is doing the right thing or do you believe in an all-electric future? Let me know down in the comments below.